This is an outrage! Out? Festive. Too festive. And too soon. Fires, fights, and every man soaked in mead. Ugh, this has gone too far. Hemthorpe could burn before the pyres lit. Gods, have I failed, my dear Jarl? Peace, Trigvi. I'll do what I can to calm things. I'll they see you, my friend. They are going to kill him! I told him not to do it! Now he's locked up in that house with no way out! <laughs> Come out, you dung-eating rat! What madness is this? You dare wash our beloved Hemingir with your filth! I asked you a question, friend. There's a Saxon within. One stupid enough to try sending Hemingir to heaven over Valhalla. Now he cowers behind a locked door! I only did right by his immortal soul! You will get what is right for you! Calm yourselves, all of you. I'll speak with him, unmask his true intentions. Get that stain out here now! People are quite upset. Leave me be! I did nothing wrong! You should walk out of here, on your own, before you cannot walk at all. Yes, yes, I'll walk, I'll walk! Don't hurt me, please! There's a key there. If you open the door, I... I will follow you out. <laughs> You've got the key! Use it! for your wrongs, desecrator! Enough. Let him speak to explain himself. I loved Hemminger. I swear. I only want him to fly free in the kingdom of God. So you drench his body with your filth waters? Is it your Christian holy water? Of course. I anointed him in the name of the Lord. Shut your mouths, both of you. Your antics have outlasted their welcome. Now go. Have a look, Sunan. What is this voter you speak of? A gift without price, fit for a Jarl's lips. But hurry, it catches flame. This is your voda. I managed to save it from the licking flames. You dared Surtur's heat, yes! A most potent drink, distilled from grain by the Rush of Kiev. Dip your horn and have a drink. A bit of drink in the belly. With the roosters? What an arsehole. Hmm. You mean Hemminger's famous fighting roosters? Dragons with mighty claws! Save me from their... Thank you, mighty Thor. You've saved my life. When you sober up, steer clear of roosters. Some order seems to have been restored. Now to treat me, to let him know. 
I have calmed the guests as much as they can be in their grief. They mourn. It is to be expected. Still, thank you. And how do you feel, old friend? I mourn more deeply than most, I think. Heminger would be proud of what you have accomplished here. All you have done for him. I hope so. This ache will pass, Trikvi. With time. Consult the Volva. And were your questions answered? Some questions were answered, others I must answer myself. Do you think there is a place for Vili in our settlement? He expressed a desire to live and work with us. Will he not be Jarl of this Shire before the day's end? That remains to be seen. Some are more eager to see Trigvi in the high seat. Eivor, Trigvi has no intention to lead. He feels duty-bound to follow his master into death. Absolutely not. My father would never allow such foolishness. How else can I honor my Jarl, old as I am? This is no country for me. The future is yours, Vili. The flames of this pyre will burn for my father. You must live. I forbid you to follow him into death. I will not let you sacrifice yourself. Do you forbid me as a friend, Vili? Or as our new Jarl? As a man who would see you come to your senses. Vili. Trigvi. Each man wears one of Hemminger's boots, with both men unwilling to seize the other. Does the world need such useless, dithering men? Why not stake a claim yourself? Take this shire of your own. It is not my place. Your place is anywhere you lay your head, any hill you summit, any silver you take for your own. Do not limit yourself to niceties. Snottinghamshire deserves a leader to admire. A man the people can trust. Most love Vili, and he loves them. But he lacks the will to be leader. He could learn. But does he wish to? And Trigvi, sturdy and wise, and loyal to the legacy Hemminger Jarl left behind. Almost to a fault. But he is old, and his thrill for living has fled him. Hardly inspiring. You cannot! I will not allow it! I am not asking for your permission. Only your forgiveness. Gods, Eivor! Put a stop to this fool's death wish! This is no small decision, Trigvi. And not without great cost. The Shire will be diminished without you. But I... I have nobody left. My life's purpose lies dead upon that pyre. That is not so. When people look to my father for guidance, who did they see him turn to for counsel? Heminger Jarl was my rock. Yes, I gave him counsel, but he made the hard choices. If Heminger were here, would he not urge you to wield this wisdom for the betterment of all? And was your vow to serve Heminger Jarl unto death, or to serve his legacy and life? I will stay. You have wisdom, Eivor. More than I could have guessed.
Eivor! <gasps> Suniva! Picts were spotted moments ago, lurking in the thicket. Ville gave chase. Arsh stick. You should have roused me first. Show me where he went. Let us wake the others. The dark is lousing with Picts. I can take them on myself. Tell me where. They're not far. I'll show you. His rage has consumed him, Eivor. All this anger, this sadness... Here, Eivor. This was where Ville saw the scout killed and then charged after the enemy ahead. Stop, Vili. They're gone. It's done. Bah! I've seen roosters fight with more spirit. Oddly enough, so have I. That sound. Is it thunder? Footsteps. We need to fall back. Follow me. Quickly!
was it not? Just like when we were children getting into trouble and getting away. Save your hearts for when we get out of here alive, our stick. Ah, my sword's thunder hammer. That quickened the blood. Wild and reckless, like our first battles together. Remember the island north of Stavanger? I do. Kjertve the Cruel trained his berserkers there. Great lumbering fools, foaming at the mouth. We taunted them from the treetops. <laughs> and the drunk one, remember? Naked as the morning. Froze his cock off trying to find us. Then fell to humping a snowdrift. <laughs> <sighs> Were you glad to hear from me? I did wonder what trouble you had been up to. But I smiled at hearing your name, and I wondered if you had taken after your father. If you are now leading your clan. Well, you have your answer. I'd sooner take after a troll and leave this clan in your hands. That I will not do. <sighs> when my father was named Jarl, he had no one to help him, and still he triumphed. But I am not my father. I... I simply want to roam. Do you think Slipnir would be content bound to a stable? No matter how glorious it may be. Hey! What is that for? You have friends, Vili. What about Trikvi? And me? And your clan? Of course. I know that. You can't roam forever. Keep that in mind. You are surrounded by those who love you, and that will not change, unless you push it all away. You... You speak a truth, I understand. Troll-faced Arstic. <laughs> a chicken draugr! Is such a thing possible? For that does not seem possible. Voda too. A water infused with fire. I do not lie. <laughs> Your father's death aside, Billy. This has been... good. Fun, even. Do you ever wonder what might have happened if we had not been separated by the North Sea so early in our lives? What adventures we would have had. The raids, the battles, the glory. I even think about what we might have been to each other. I have, fondly, and often enough that it sometimes seemed you never left. Maybe you never did. I... I want you, Eivor. Your warmth. Your touch. Like this. I cannot say how I will feel tomorrow, Eivor. Shut up, Vili. Vili... You know that... that this was momentary heat. Just a flickering flame. Yes. We let our passions set sail just this once. I should get back. Rest. The funeral will still be there when you wake up fully. Are in order. Be 
be patient, Hemming. Eivor, my father sets forth on his final voyage. May the winds favor him. The nobles have offered up their funeral gifts, all but you. Present what you have, and the celebration may begin. I have it here. Shield bearing the sign of the web of weird, woven into this shield as you wove your spirit into our lives. May the skulls sing of you as the gods embrace you. Feast, my friend, in the halls of the free and brave. Stand at my side. Speak from your heart, Hemingerson. Today we mourn the passing of Heminger Jarl of Nottinghamshire. My father. Our father. He was a towering force. A strength to fear and admire. Now gone. Yet together we are the example of his greatness. I see him in each of you. His love for battle, but also peace. For wisdom, sorrow, and joy. His generosity, his spirit. In you I see his life and his love of drink. Gods, did he love drink! <laughs> we are these things because he was these things. Father, we shall be to our children what you were to us. And when they are ready, we will meet you again. Give him a fine farewell. Sunua, ride to Hemford and prepare the longhouse for the Althing. The next Jarl will soon take his seat. Have they given their Jarl a fine farewell? They have. None drank so well and so deeply as Clan Hemminger's son. The declaration of succession must happen soon, before we are too drunk and exhausted to remember our names. I agree. Call on those who must attend. The Alding will begin shortly. You 
look uneasy. Burdened by grief. Drowning in meat. And paralyzed by a sword. I stand between that man and Yarda. You stand side by side, Vili. One of you must step forward. My father placed us side by side, because he trusted your vision. So what do you see? Drunk as you are, I see before me a man full of passion, vigor, and a love for his people. I see a Jarl. Your burden will get easier to bear. Take your father's seat and make it your own. I will. Good. Now let them know, Arstic. People of Hemthorpe, of Ulkethorpe, of Snottingham. Today I pledge myself, as my father was, I shall be your Jarl. Heminger was a hero, not for who he was, but for the people he led. With Trigvi by my side, with all of you, we will have glory. You have already learned that people prefer shorter speeches to long ones, Vilayal. <laughs> it will take time to wear that title with comfort. My father never swore a formal oath with your clan. There was no need, for you are family. Let it be known, the Hemingers and Clan Raven are true sworn friends from this day forward. Do you accept? Aye. Well? Be fair, be just, and call upon us often, Arstic.